how are you all doing i hope you're all doing fine welcome back to my channel if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for returning back here to watch my videos may god bless you but if it is the first time here hello welcome to my channel please before you leave remember to subscribe and when you subscribe click on that notification bell you will find it down there so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever i upload a new video i promise you you will always enjoy every content that i upload in this channel so dear friends if you follow me here on youtube you know i've been doing lots of online dating success love stories and give you advice encourage you inspire you every time i be like do not give up every time i come here i fill you with lots lots of information lots of advice so that you can find the one and i really thank god that some of you who listen to me eventually you find the one this takes me to our today's video i remember doing an online dating success love story nine months ago this is last year and from that online dating success love story we have got a beautiful unique online dating success love story which i'm going to be sharing with you today so we're gonna be having a story time of a Malawian lady by the name of Abigail, 30 years old, who found love on online dating apps after one month of joining. She found love with a Polish guy. His name is August, 32 years old. To be honest with you guys, I am so happy, so excited to be sharing with you today's video because Abigail is my own product, my own baby. <laughs> you all know why I'm calling her my own baby. Found love through watching my videos. This takes me to some of you that have been DMing me on Instagram to ask me to connect you to white guys. I told you guys I don't do connections. Simply, I don't have those white men to connect to you too i don't want to steal your manual <laughs> i only tell you what i am capable of doing and some of you have been misunderstanding me when i say i helped a lady find love even one day there is a lady who asked me bella is it true that you help these people the way i help is by giving you advice and guidance if you are here watching this story today <laughs> Take the tips, implement them, you will find the one. When you find the one, I helped you because <laughs> you watched my video and you got helped. Others that I'm helping personally, you know, individually on Instagram and WhatsApp is only by guiding them, advising them, you know, to do the right thing, being there for them through their whole journey to find the one so please don't misunderstand me and think that when i say i helped her or she is my baby it's me who took the guy i don't know from somewhere and gave him to the lady <laughs> no i don't do that guys it's only through advice and guidance and it is god that knows when the right guy is gonna come <laughs> at his own time of course and so, guys i know and i totally understand that due to the challenges you have been facing on online dating apps when you watch a story like this you start asking god why why not me god when is my time i am so tired and some of you feel like maybe you are very unlucky and some of you give up completely because i understand being on online dating apps let's say for three years four years then you hear a lady joined just after a month found the one but what i'm here to tell you dear sisters do not give up please stop complaining because even abigail she never complained after coming across my youtube channel followed everything that i could advise her without getting tired it's not that never faced any challenges abigail faced lots of challenges before joining online dating apps and even after joining online dating apps but she kept on moving forward so your sister is here today to tell you keep moving forward if we have got a success story from a success story i am very positive and i trust in god that 
from this love story, we are going to be having loads of online dating success love stories. So I don't want to waste much of your time because today's video is going to be a long one. Let us jump into this beautiful online dating success love story. So guys, the truth is when you see this couple at first sight, you'll be like, oh my God, it's such a cute couple. She's so lucky. But <laughs> was she really lucky her whole life? We're going to find out in a minute what was her past love relationship experience before joining online dating apps so that we know where Abigail came from so that we can get close to her and get to understand her love journey. So how was her past love relationship experience like was it good was she in a relationship with a malawian guy and if yes how was it like <laughs> let's dig a little bit deeper so dear friends abigail tells us yes she was in a love relationship before found this cute malawian guy fell in love then started dating but when they started dating Abigail clearly or plainly told that Malawian guy that I am not going to be sharing the goodies till marriage. We have to wait. The guy was okay with it and they continued dating. So one time, because he is the boyfriend, Abigail went to this guy's house to visit. When Abigail went to visit, there was a friend of that guy too at his house. So while there, an Afro cinema happened, guys. <laughs> so about the Afro cinema that happened, Abigail found a photo of a lady and in that photo, there was a boyfriend too. So Abigail had to ask the boyfriend who is the girl and guess what the boyfriend responded. <laughs> The boyfriend was like, oh, the lady is a sister to my friend. But inside Abigail's heart, her intuition told her, this lady, mm, I don't think is a sister of a friend. But ignored that and kept on going through that guy's things. So as she kept on going through his things, found some love letters, read all those letters and asked the guy, who is the lady that sent you these love letters? The guy was like, oh, you know, Abigail, that is my ex. But Abigail told him, if this lady is your ex, why is that you still kept the letters? The guy said, no, I just decided to keep the letters. But her intuition still told her that those letters were from the lady in the photo decided to ignore everything and when the day ended abigail was returning back home so the boyfriend escorted her as they were going abigail told the guy you know what keep on your relationship with that girl because i am not your wife she is going to be your wife the guy was very very shocked and told abigail how did you know <laughs> Abigail told him, I just know. So the relationship ended that same, same day. I really like her reaction and I'm very proud of her because I told you guys, never accept a guy to put you in love triangles and be like, I'm going to wait. Maybe I might be the chosen one. No. If your intuition tells you he is not the one, don't keep on wasting your time. Don't start competing with other ladies, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and be like, I am the wife. <laughs> no, guys, you'll only be wasting your precious time. So Abigail tells you that one thing that she noticed is that God blessed her in a way that once she is curious about something, then something fishy is going on. And that's what we call a woman's intuition. The problem is we always ignore it. You know, God's voice is trying to tell you, please hear, you have to stop. This guy is taking an advantage of you. Oh, please stop. This guy is not the one. But you ignore it and start competing with other ladies. Be like, maybe I am the chosen one. You start waiting to be the chosen one. <laughs> 
there is no need dear beautiful ladies always listen to your inner voice you will never go wrong so abigail listened to her inner voice i'm so proud of her i'm so happy for her reaction to end that relationship because after some months abigail heard that that boyfriend who is ex <laughs> impregnated that lady that abigail saw in the photo and they got married after getting married the guy was trying to contact abigail again abigail told the guy no just move on you are my ex now you are my past you know past history <laughs> so the guy just wanted to waste abigail's time but she woke up in time <laughs> yeah so dear friends after abigail's first ever relationship ending later on abigail found another guy in high school they fell in love all was you know <laughs> good 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 love in the air <laughs> And I told you guys, I think in the story that I shared about me, my own love story, that sometimes you can fall into these temptations due to peer pressure. You know, things happen. Life is full of surprises. Abigail had promised herself that wants to please God. That's why wanted to wait till marriage, not share her goodies. But when I met that guy at high school, Abigail found herself sharing the goodies. <laughs> yeah, and after sharing the goodies with a guy, started regretting and she regrets till now that why did she accept to fall into the trap of that guy because the relationship never even lasted for so long so after that relationship ending abigail promised god god please forgive me but from today i'm not going to share my goodies till marriage so decided it should be that way so guys could come abigail could be like i want to wait till marriage they could run no one wanted to stay in a relationship that you have to wait till marriage so due to that she was ready to wait till marriage and most men never wanted to wait till marriage abigail remained single until met this another guy this guy was so cute light-skinned <laughs> and she has always liked light-skinned guys it was my weakness too <laughs> i always wanted a guy who is light-skinned you know i told you i had told myself i'm gonna get married to a light-skinned black american guy tall masculine <laughs> God. so yes abigail met this light-skinned malawian guy they started dating but told the guy no goodies till marriage the guy was okay with it everything was really really good eventually abigail was so at peace that finally found a guy who really understood her so they kept on dating and after some time abigail was sleeping at night had a dream she dreamt that the boyfriend was getting married at the church exchanging vows but abigail was far back at the church you know watching what was going on so in that dream abigail asked herself why is that my boyfriend is getting married to another lady and not me then woke up from the dream and decided to ignore that dream so few weeks after the dream abigail started receiving threats from the cousin of the boyfriend telling her you have to leave my cousin my cousin is supposed to marry a white lady not you and even the guy the boyfriend was told by the family to stop the relationship with abigail but they never listened kept on with their relationship because they really loved each other very very much so as the relationship continued the cousin kept on calling her that i told you to stop that relationship you don't want to listen i am going to do something bad to you if you keep on dating my cousin and one day this cousin went to abigail's house tells us they were not living very far from each other and went with a knife 
cut Abigail's braid, took it to the boyfriend and told him, this is the evidence that I can go far. I will do something bad to her. You have to stop that relationship. Oh my God, I was in a shock how people can be very, very evil. So Abigail tells us that was too much suffering for her, considering that never wanted to leave that guy, really loved the guy. But one of her friends that they used to pray together told her that God had said, Abigail should leave that guy. If she keeps on the relationship with that guy, then she's gonna suffer for the rest of her life. And she tells us, personally, God told her that what comes from him will give her peace, peace of mind, but not confusion. So as much as it was so difficult to let go of that relationship, eventually hard to let go, though the guy kept on calling her after some years, wanting her to get back with him so that they can continue the relationship. So when this guy kept on begging, Abigail made it clear that she has moved on, doesn't want anything to do with him. And thanks God that was able to make that decision. It was the best decision ever. Cause later this guy got married to the same same lady that Abigail saw in the dream. Imagine guys. So after that relationship ending, Abigail talked to God again and told God, please, I pray to you that the next guy that I'm going to date should be the one cause God, you know what's best for me. So after all that, talking to God remained single for seven years. Yes, some guys could come in her life and God could tell her, don't waste your time. There is no future. So could end those relationship and kept on waiting for God's time, the right time. Though she tells you that it wasn't easy cause the waiting time is not always easy i know guys that is why i'm always here encouraging you because i know during that waiting time you need someone to encourage you you need someone to tell you keep moving forward do not give up so to my favorite question have you ever dreamt of getting married to a white man was it your plan you know to get married to a white guy <laughs> So with this, Abigail tells us when she was in high school, had this friend, you know, they used to talk and this friend in high school used to watch YouTube videos of interracial couples. So could tell Abigail about the interracial couples, she could watch their lives, the way they used, you know, to show on camera. <laughs> And at that time, Abigail started getting interest, you know, in getting married to a white guy, but told herself, how am I going to get married to a white guy? How can that even happen? But she was really, really interested in getting married to a white guy. So let's continue with Abigail's past love relationship experience. We are not done yet. <laughs> Yeah, so when Abigail stayed single for those seven years, there was this childhood friend that Abigail considered as a brother. But after those seven years, this childhood friend came in as a boyfriend, wanting to be Abigail's boyfriend. So Abigail thought of it and told herself, I've waited for so long, no one serious is coming, maybe this guy is the one and decided to give him the chance. So they dated and after a few days of the so-called relationship, Abigail tells you, <laughs> So this boyfriend posted pictures on his WhatsApp of another lady. Though before Abigail thought that maybe the guy is the one. Little did she know Abigail was just a reborn girlfriend. <laughs> this guy had a girlfriend. They just fought and decided to break up. <laughs> But later on, decided to do what? To be together. And that's when he started posting her on WhatsApp. When Abigail asked the guy, the guy kept on denying, though he was posting her 
in his WhatsApp. Abigail talked to her friends about it and told them, I think I am a reborn girlfriend because this guy is keeping on posting the lady. So the friends told her, no, just give him a chance and see how it goes. She kept on with the relationship. Also, the guy kept on posting his girlfriend and that's when Abigail was like, no, I have confirmed this guy is still keeping on the relationship with the girlfriend. I was just a reborn girlfriend. So decided to end that relationship too, though it lasted so shortly. So guys, after all those heartbreaks, you know, from Malawian guys, Abigail remembered her dream of getting married to a white guy. That's when decided to go on YouTube, came across an interracial couple. This interracial couple said they met on online dating apps. So Abigail was like, if it was possible for them, maybe it can be possible for me. You never know, better give it a try. So friends, now we are going to her online dating experience. <laughs> Abigail tells you that online dating apps Oh my goodness! <laughs> so deciding to join online dating apps in June last year, 2022. And before I forget guys, her original plan or her focus was only on white guys. So the first dating app that Abigail joined was maybe you. I've never heard of this dating app. <laughs> this is the first time. But yes, it exists. It's called Maybe You. So Abigail joined Maybe You and tells us on Maybe You existed lots of black men, which wasn't what she was looking for. Decided to ignore that dating app and join the second dating app. So the second dating app was called Black and White Dating App, where existed loads of white guys. But in that dating app, most of those white guys were so weird. Some they could chat, then exchange WhatsApp numbers. The next thing they send their eggplants. <laughs> so after sending the eggplant, Abigail could block. Then one day came across this another white guy. He was so good, seemed really serious. <laughs> Decided to exchange WhatsApp numbers, started chatting on WhatsApp. But one problem happened. This guy never wanted to be addressed by his name. Wanted Abigail to address him as daddy. <laughs> oh my God. Abigail was right to say, oh my goodness, online dating apps, you can come across all men of all kind. Yeah. So after that guy wanting to be addressed as daddy, <laughs> it did not sit well <laughs> into Abigail's mind and decided to block the guy. Kept on with her search. So as she kept on with her search, tells us one day got a message on maybe you, you remember the dating app that I told you. So got message from this guy for her tells us he seemed strange cause he said he's very rich and really looked so rich. Then decided to exchange WhatsApp numbers, started, you know, chatting. And as they kept on chatting, this guy came with a story that he sent her lots of money and lots of gifts. <laughs> to Malawi <laughs> and Abigail was contacted by someone at the airport telling her your person has arrived here you have to pay 153 Malawian kwacha <laughs> so that you can get your parcel. Abigail didn't have enough experience on online dating apps and at that time had not come across my YouTube channel so she fell in the trap and sent them that 153 Malawian kwacha. And after getting the money, they told her the money is not enough. She should pay again. So 
When she heard that, decided to go on Google, started researching. That is when they told her that's the trick that most scammers use. So it's a scammer. She shouldn't send any more money. Went and told the guy, I've discovered you, you are a scammer. The guy started saying, no, you are wrong. I'm not a scammer. <laughs> but at the end of the day, Abigail decided to block that scammer. And that's how Abigail was scammed on maybe you. So guys, you see all these scamming stories, but till now exist ladies that still fall in the trap of these scammers. Recently, I was contacted by a lady from Tanzania, my own home girl, and what makes me very, very angry about this lady even joined my channel membership, but was online, never wanted to tell me anything, <laughs> that she's chatting with someone so they chatted the guy never wanted even a video call and eventually what happened she got scammed and she was scammed lots lots of money i'll be coming with her story so that everyone can learn from her so when she contacted me i was so angry i told her why didn't you tell me every step of what was going on she told me bella i don't know what came over me i didn't even think of writing back to you but i'm so sorry and i am now back i really want your guidance so guys when you are on online dating apps, I told you, you must see the guy you are talking to on a video call. No excuses. If he doesn't want a video call, please block the guy immediately. You are chatting with the guy, he starts money talks. I told you, run, because that is how everything starts. These people are so, so intelligent. They just play with your psychology. They first try you. <laughs> with something very little concerning money. Maybe can you help me pay this? My bank account is blocked for a while. So when you decide to pay, even if it is just five euros or 10 euros, he gets the road. You have opened the doors to the scammer by accepting any money talks. It doesn't matter how much block the guy before you get scammed. Please, dear sisters, I'm tired of these scamming stories. So yes, guys, Abigail was scammed, but I cannot blame her. Did not have any experience about all this. And she is very, very intelligent also to go on Google and do some research. Otherwise, they could have continued scamming her. So after Abigail got scammed, was so angry, so frustrated, about online dating apps and decided to delete all of them cause thought maybe online dating apps is not for her and it was time to quit. That's what she told herself. I know you two who is watching this video, maybe due to the challenges, like I said, when I started this video, you are like, maybe it's time to quit. But Bella is here again telling you this online dating success love story so that you get inspired. Abigail was at the same point that you are now, was like, I am quitting online dating apps. But did she quit really? <laughs> Let's find out. So guys, Abigail tells us in her frustrations, went on YouTube, started watching some videos and then my video was recommended to her so clicked on it started watching and really liked the video kept on watching tells us could watch my videos every single day learning lots of things because remember was a lady who was on online dating apps but did not have enough experience so coming across my videos me sharing different information experience on online dating apps was really really happy and also watched a video about online dating apps that i shared so some of the dating apps that i shared in my channel and abigail decided to join were afro introductions afro romance international cupid okay cupid and f dating so after joining those online dating apps one day got a message from an American guy on Afro introductions. The guy seemed very serious, so good, and very interested in Abigail. Decided to exchange WhatsApp numbers, started chatting on WhatsApp, never asked 
four nude photos something that made abigail to stay on that positive mode that at least there is a guy who does not ask me nude photos but there was one problem <laughs> This guy never wanted to talk with Abigail when he is at home, only wanted to communicate with Abigail when he is at work. And I remember I told you <laughs> when I shared a video on how to know if a man on online dating apps is married. One of the signs is that a guy will call you at the mall, a guy will call you in the gardens, at the park, a guy will call you, you know, in the office, a guy will call you on the parking lot, never at home. And one of the serious problems that we got on online dating apps exists lots of married guys pretending to be single. So Abigail kept on communicating with this guy but this guy wasn't showing much efforts like in communicating it is abigail that was you know pushing more and through watching my videos if a guy is not putting much efforts in communicating to you getting to know you that means a guy is not interested simple as that and i remember abigail also reminded me that she told me about the guy eventually decided to do what stopped texting the guy i told you you just give him that reaction of not texting and see if he will keep on communicating with you if you keep quiet and he keeps quiet he is not interested so she kept quiet the guy kept quiet and later on guess what happened the guy posted his wife on his whatsapp status <laughs> the guy was happily married in america but was pretending he is single when chatting with abigail so let's be wise and also learn from this i know you guys are so tired of an online dating apps but what is making you tired you don't want to listen to me you are giving your time to wrong men you let them waste your time and eventually when things go bad they disappear on you or you come to find out he was married you be like i am tired 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 bella i am giving up <laughs> but why did you allow him to waste your time always make sure when you're chatting with a guy give him a week observe him you will know if the guy is serious or he is not serious the information is here in this channel you just watch the videos carefully and take notes those of you who have been taking notes don't get tired keep on taking notes keep praying for god's time because it's the best so guys abigail kept on with her search and kept on meeting weird guys especially on afro introductions she tells you <laughs> and remembers very very well one day i shared a video the video that i was talking about when i started this video this video was an online dating success love story of a kenyan lady who found love with a guy from norway so abigail told me that it was in jerry's story she still remembers the name of the lady <laughs> i was so so happy guys yeah so in that video i gave you lots of tips and also jerry gave you lots of tips that helped her find love on online dating apps and one of the tips a very strong tip that jerry gave you guys is to send 10 messages every single day to different men that's how she could do it and eventually found the one so abigail watched that video took the tips especially that one of sending 10 messages every single day and started implementing it could send messages every single day 10 messages to different men tells us some could respond but some could not respond so you who watched that video <laughs> are you still sending 10 messages every single day or you decided to give up after sending for a month you're like no i can't keep on sending messages i am so tired why is that they are not responding 
So if you gave up, I'm telling you, please rise up again because that one made Abigail find the one. Sending messages to different men, 10 messages. I told you if you can't do 10, do five, but make sure you send messages to different men every single day on online dating apps. This will help you to be found. This will help you to find the one. So Abigail did not give up because some guys were not responding. No, was focusing on only those who could respond and kept on with her search. Then came across a German guy. This guy seemed good and after chatting for a while, Abigail asked the guy if they can meet, if this guy can go to Malawi to visit her. Then this German guy was like, no, I cannot leave my work. I'm so busy and come to Malawi. My work is more important than you. <laughs> That is when Abigail was like, no, this is not the one. So ended it and kept on with her search. So she kept on with her search, doing same, same thing every single day, sending messages to different men every day. And one day came across a profile of a guy. <laughs> this guy is a Polish guy, but works in England. So when she came across this profile of this guy, on a certain dating app that I'm going to be sharing before I end this video, this guy's profile was totally different from what I described as a profile of a serious guy, whereby I told you guys, if a guy has, you know, posted his photos, if a guy has written something, you know, on his profile, on his description, what he is looking for in a woman, then that means that guy might be serious because at least you have an idea of what that guy wants. But this Polish guy's profile, <laughs> yes, he had very good, good photos, cute photos, because of course the guy is cute. You're going to see him. <laughs> yeah, but nothing, nothing was written in his description. So she ignored him, <laughs> kept on ignoring him every day, could, you know, come across his photo and be like, but this guy, why is that? Nothing is written there. But something kept on telling her, please write a message to him. <laughs> and I told you guys, always listen to your inner voice. So Abigail decided to listen to her inner voice and send a message to that Polish guy that the profile was blank. After sending that first message to him, he responded immediately on the spot. <laughs> so before I continue, we have something we are learning here. One of the things I've been saying this, don't wait to be found. Please make that first approach. And the second advice, yes, I told you, if a guy's profile is blank, that means that guy doesn't want to put lots of efforts, you know, <laughs> to show that I am a real guy. But something that I advised you very, very recently, if you have been watching my videos, is that stop limiting yourself. I'm the same, same lady. <laughs> Same, same sister who told you that if you want to find love on online dating apps, keep sending messages, keep sending likes, you know, even if you don't understand the profile very well, give him a like. If he clicks on your profile, you have got a very good profile and he is a good guy. Of course, he will write to you. Another thing that I've been advising most ladies that I help personally on online dating apps is that... When you go through a guy's profile and it is not giving you, you know, that vibe, that push to send a long <laughs> intro, <laughs> just send a hi because the profile is simple and you got nothing to write to this guy. You don't know what he's looking for. So how can you say, I like your profile? <laughs> so in that case, you just send a hi if he is a serious guy and maybe was just lazy to write something on his profile. Of course, if he likes you after seeing your profile or pictures, he will write to you and everything will start there. So guys, stop limiting yourself. 
but again shine your eyes don't forget that so when he sent that first message they started communicating and he showed so much interest in getting to know her because could ask her lots of questions and among of the questions that he asked her were are you an ex of someone and do you have kids and guys when i say an ex wanted to know if abigail had married before so abigail responded and was like no i am not anyone's ex and i don't have kids but why did you ask me so this polish guy his name is august august replied that was looking for a lady who is not an ex of anyone and doesn't have kids that is what he was looking for and attention guys this doesn't make august a bad guy it is all about what he is looking for it is all about what he wants in life i've been seeing most of you sending me messages be like bella i'm a single mom and when i tell a guy i am a single mom they disappear or i've noticed most guys don't want ladies that are single mothers most guys don't want mature ladies they want these young young girls of 25 years 20 years but they don't want me i am 38 i am 39 i'm 40 and 50 they don't want me it's not true those are only your fears what i can tell you i've been doing lots of research concerning online dating apps and i came across men's profiles which says I am looking for a lady with kids because I don't want to have kids anymore. My kids have grown. So you who is complaining, you have got a chance with a guy like that and doesn't make that guy a bad guy because he doesn't want more kids. It's all about what he wants and you too should go for what you want. So after chatting for some time, this guy went on Facebook and sent her a friend request. This is how you see a guy is clear from the start. Because some guys will chat if you ask them if they use Facebook or Instagram, they'll tell you, I am not on Facebook, I am not on Instagram. But the truth, they are there. They just don't want you to find out cause you will discover things <laughs> that will make you stop the relationship so his games will end soon but august was a clear guy from the start that's why he went on facebook and sent her a friend request she accepted a friend request and then whenever he could see that she was not online on online dating app could write her on facebook and one day asked her which way do you use mostly to communicate we have another tip yes guys i told you if a guy is seriously interested in you he won't be like i use only telegram end of the story <laughs> he will want to hear from you which way is more comfortable for you to communicate with him because he is seriously interested in you that is why august asked abigail which way do you use to communicate which way is comfortable for you so abigail she mostly uses whatsapp that is when they decided to exchange their whatsapp numbers and started chatting on whatsapp and abigail adds that the truth is august did not use whatsapp frequently but after meeting abigail because he was very interested in her decided to start using whatsapp frequently so guys if a guy loves you if a guy is seriously into you you're gonna be the queen <laughs> he will do what it takes to get to you abigail tells you he never asked her for nude photos never ever and this couple started as a christian couple tells us they pray together they praise together everything concerning faith they do it together as a couple and that one started at the beginning of their communication so their communication on whatsapp continued very well and after some days august asked abigail it was early in the morning that wanted to do a video call so when abigail had that was actually very very embarrassed wasn't ready <laughs> 
to do that video call told herself if this guy talks to me like this he will never call me a cane <laughs> but later on august confessed to that that is what he wanted wanted to see the real her and abigail accepting to do a video call before going for shower showed him that she is real and she is the one so if she could have said no i am in pajamas i can't talk to you let me have a shower and then i'll talk to you then it could have been the end because that's not what august was looking for wanted a real woman a woman who is not afraid to show herself early in the morning before she showers to her man <laughs> i also remember very well abigail writing to me about this polish guy august and when she told me about him told me just little things about him and i told her this is good you know you are on the right track but also tells us what showed he was a serious guy august never hidden anything from her could tell her everything that he does so she was aware of what was going on in his life because he could update her on everything so guys because august was very clear in everything was not hiding anything from abigail abigail too did the same told him everything concerning her life her background which is very very good i've been telling you go with the flow if a guy is open with you he is clear on everything he puts efforts communicating with you give him the same energy that way your relationship will work out but if he is showing you low energy of course give him to low energy <laughs> And if he is interested, he will wake up and start giving you higher energy and you'll give him to higher energy. That way, no one is suffering fair game. If he disappears, ciao. <laughs> I did not, you know, put lots of efforts <laughs> pushing things. No. <laughs> so you can go <laughs> easily like that. And after one month, August told Abigail that he wanted to come to Malawi to meet her in real life in 2023. Same, same time after telling her he was planning to go visit her in Malawi, introduce her to his mother and his dad on a video call. So concerning the visit, ask her which month is comfortable for you so that I can come. And Abigail told him the comfortable month for him to go this is a real guy not a guy that just sits there and you know plans for himself without even including you out of blue he is like i am coming in june guys be very careful summer vacations are approaching <laughs> most white guys are traveling all over the world so this time around you'll meet lots lots of white guys that will chat with you after two or three days they're like i am coming next month or i am coming next week or i am coming in two weeks <laughs> <laughs> be very careful don't think that the guy is crazily in love with you he is coming for you no it's summer vacation or oh. watch the red flags <laughs> i'm warning you guys i don't want you to come back and start crying <laughs> he came took my goodies now he has blocked me <laughs> so guys abigail tells you that started chatting with august 21st of august 2022 and then 1st september 2022 they decided to be a couple <laughs> and on 5th october that is when he bought his air ticket to malawi <laughs> but he was traveling 2023 february so his plan to go to malawi wanted to stay there for one month but his sister and his mom encouraged him to stay three months so that he can get to know Abigail better and Abigail can get to know him better because these people met on online dating apps and eventually August listened to his mom and his sister and decided to stay in Malawi for three months. So his stay to Malawi was going to be three months. So they started talking about that trip 
and also talked of where he's gonna be staying for those three months eventually they agreed that they are going to accommodate him at their house because abigail lives with her brother and the nephew another thing that abigail tells you is that she invested a lot in buying airtime to communicate with august could use her savings to communicate with him what do we learn here? I've seen lots of ladies, you are chatting with a guy and in just two days or three days, you are asking for airtime. That guy is gonna run if you start your relationship that way. In Jerry's story, I also remember, told you that could reach to an extent of borrowing money for transport to go to town so that she can go to an internet cafe and communicate with her Norwegian boyfriend. That's a sacrifice, guys. That's an investment. Because Jerry was working so at the end of the month would pay those friends that borrowed her the money. Same, same thing with Abigail could use her savings to communicate with August. That was an investment and a risk if you want to find a love but for me i can say it's a good investment than you going to pay for dating apps so abigail tells us they started chatting in august and never asked any money from august but when october came due to the way they were communicating and also august you know tested her if she's the one then confirmed that she is the one that is why he bought the ticket to malawi decided to start sending her money for the upkeep buying groceries and doing everything around the house because abigail tells us lost her mom may your mom keep resting in peace amen so since that time she's taking care of the family responsibilities and taking care of the home and about the money you remember abigail was calmed before so when august told her i want to send you the money please send me your bank account number she had to send a bank account number that doesn't have any money <laughs> so that she doesn't get scammed and that was a smart thing but it turned out that august was a serious guy wasn't a scam <laughs> she was just trying to to be careful and with these guys i told you there is no need for you to ask a guy money if he loves you if he is interested in you if he sees you in a difficult situation of course he's gonna give you a hand of help that is why august decided to be helping her, sending her some upkeep money. She never asked, and that one made August know that Abigail is the one. Cause his experience on online dating apps could chat with the ladies. After a few days, they're asking money. They go to an extent of asking the type of the car he is driving. <laughs> Can you imagine, guys? Please stop this whole madness. <laughs> You will never know if a guy is financially stable by asking him the type of the car he is driving. It is just you chasing a man away from you. <laughs> so when the trip was almost approaching to go to Malawi, August started buying gifts. Oh my God, guys, this guy bought lots, lots of gifts. The list is so long. I'm going to be putting them here so that you can see it. Tells us bought lots of things, starting from her gifts, gifts for her brothers, gifts for her twin sisters. <laughs> Tells us he had two full suitcases. <laughs> full of gifts and before august went to malawi told her that wanted to see her real life get to meet all her relatives <laughs> from both sides the mother's side and the father's side that is why his stay was three months this is the guy that is really 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 into you i repeat guys so the day for him to travel came and also abigail had to travel from muzuzu to lilongwe where the airport is <laughs> go peak august oh my god she was so excited very nervous she sent me a message guys and i also updated you 
on my Instagram stories. I'm going to be sharing everything that I was going on on Instagram at that time. <laughs> so she traveled to Lilongwe and August 2 started his journey when he arrived in Ethiopia, sent her the photo, told her, my love, I'm here coming. <laughs> and the tension was going higher, the pressure. <laughs> you know, I can't wait to see him in person. <laughs> you know the feeling, guys, if you have ever experienced that. <laughs> yeah. But during all this period, him traveling, Abigail tells you, was praying a lot was praying for his trip so that it can go, you know, smoothly. And August, when he started his trip, never applied for a visa, was going to fill in the visa at the airport at his arrival. But some problems happened, so he had to call the Malawian embassy in Germany. They helped him, sent him the visa, and also came another problem of the suitcases. They were too heavy, exceeded the weight, but they never told him to pay extra money. <laughs> her prayers worked, guys. So after arriving safe, texted her that I am here. But Abigail was nowhere to be seen. It took her long to arrive to the airport. At that time, he started being a bit worried and be like, what if she doesn't come? What am I going to do with these suitcases? Where am I going to sleep? Because I don't have a plan B. We only had a plan A. But started, you know, calming himself down and also communicated to his parents that he had arrived. The parents were like, oh, we are happy you have arrived, but where is Abigail? <laughs> He told them that I have communicated with her, she is on the way coming. But on Abigail's side too, was worried and like, what if I arrive there and he is nowhere to be seen? Because she went with her sister, her sister was driving, so could tell herself, oh my God, if I don't find him there, that means I have wasted my sister's fuel and disturbed her. Where am I going to put my face? <laughs> This whole embarrassment again also calmed herself down and was like, but he has sent me the photos that he is coming and he has arrived. I know I'm going to find him there because when he was at the airport, took also the photos that, hey, I am here at the airport. So that made her relax a bit. But that pressure of meeting him was really hard. Yeah. <laughs> so when Abigail arrived at the airport, so this cute handsome guy smiling at her ran so quickly hugged him so tightly they were happy to see each other <laughs> and also greeted the sister after that called his parents you know to calm them down that abigail is here they were both happy we we're like we are so happy for you guys <laughs> enjoy yourselves we don't want to bother you anymore so it was really a very happiest moment for both of them and I also remember, guys, they sent me the photo, like I told you, <laughs> that he has arrived. So Abigail tells you that her relationship did not tell everyone about it. Only a few people knew about their relationship. Her uncle, grandma, her sister, and one of her friends, including me, <laughs> were only five people that knew about their relationship. So the photos were sent to me and other people, apart from the sister who was there. Yeah, but later on, she told them and all were shocked. Why did you keep it a secret? She was like, I wasn't sure. <laughs> but now I'm sure that is why, you know, you see him here. <laughs> yeah, which is good, guys. It is very, very good. Because when you include lots of people in your relationship, they will start confusing you. A very small thing happens, then they want to say something about it. <laughs> and in most cases, not all can be happy for you. So it is better to keep it for yourself or to few people that you really trust. So from the airport, guys, they went to Abigail's house. Tells us they've got three rooms in their house. Abigail had to leave her room and go sleep in another room cause never wanted to share the goodies till marriage. So on his stay there, everyone wanted to meet him and he wanted to meet everyone. 
because he's very social he talks to everyone he smiles at everyone oh my god he's such a good guy and abigail tells us everyone liked him she thanks god that all qualities that she ever wanted in a man august has got them all boxes tick 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 god is good so their first visit they went to visit her mom's sister and when they returned back august started fixing things around the house abigail tells us their house didn't have a ceiling board august bought a ceiling board and they had to put a ceiling board they also didn't have a fence august put a fence for them oh my god this is a good guy a generous guy a guy who shows that i am part of the family it is my girlfriend's house but it is also my house because if he has got good plans with you he will count himself as part of the family thank you so much august for being a good guy be blessed so august landed in malawi 2nd february 2023 and Abigail tells us in middle of February went to visit her uncle at her uncle's place. That is when they discussed about the lobola. She updated me about this. I'm going to put the message here. When she was talking of the lobola and you who is watching this video, you might ask yourself, how did August accept that? Because it is not part of his culture. But Abigail tells you that they had talked about that before. Obola or bride price is taken so seriously, so he had to do it. August was happy and ready to do it. That is when at the uncle's place, there was no problem. He accepted to pay the Lobola. So he paid the Lobola on the first week of March and after three days of paying the Lobola, he proposed. She also sent me the photos that Bella, I am engaged now. And you know when I'm happy, I want you guys to be happy too. I want to encourage you. So I posted it to on my Instagram stories. <laughs> yeah. And if you're asking yourself if he bought the ring in Malawi, no, he brought the ring from England. That's where he bought it. So my goodies lover, you are still waiting and waiting. Bella, the goodies. <laughs> Guys, Abigail told him from the start of their relationship that no goodies till marriage. And he waited all. <laughs> Even if he engaged her, Still, he waited. So you can see, guys, exist men who can wait till marriage. <laughs> he knows that you are not going to give him the goodies, but paid for the bride price, then engaged her, and they started planning for their wedding. So guys, after the engagement, then April this year, 2023, that's when they got married. I remember it was in the evening, I was having dinner, then I received her photo, her wedding photo. I started screaming, you know, for happiness. My husband asked me, what is going on? I, she got married. <laughs> Yeah, I was super, super happy and I was waiting for her story, guys, to share it with you. So she told me, wait till I get married. So when she got married, I was like, thank you, God. Thank you for everything because it is you, Lord. So I'm going to be showing you some clips of them in Malawi, you know, <laughs> enjoying the African environment, African culture. They are such a very beautiful couple. Hey. Ah! <laughs> what are you doing? Okay, let's go. What are you doing? What are you doing? Okay, Yeah, you press it so hard. Oh, so much. Uh -huh. Fine. Hmm. Let's go. I love you. I love you. <laughs> I love you. Oh. <laughs> you got it. The students, right? So, dear friends, Abigail tells you that his 
stay was super great, was treated like a queen, <laughs> felt so special for everything that he was doing for her. And now she knows that waiting on God's time, it's not a wastage of time, but worth it. Oh. Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> One thing that really touched my heart, and it shows that Abigail is a true definition of a lady having faith in God. Because tells us when she was on online dating apps and everything wasn't working, one time cried a lot to God and told God, what is happening? Why is that I'm not finding the one? Was at the point of giving up and heard God's voice telling her, don't worry, you are going to meet your husband soon. What does this tell us? I told you even in the last video, I think there is a story I shared with you recently. I told you, if you are a believer, you believe in God, keep trusting in him. It doesn't matter how long it takes, you will find the one. Now we have Abigail's testimony and all other stories that I've shared with you. It is God. I'm telling you, yes, I say that I helped you. You are my babies. But at the end of the day, guys, it all depends on God. I can give you all the advice in the world, but without God, you can never succeed. So Keep your faith in God. So it tells us after hearing God telling her, you are going to meet your husband very soon, kept on praying, and after a few days, found August. On August's side, it is the same. He was praying to find the one. And God answered him by bringing Abigail to him. God made it possible for them to meet through online dating app. And she strongly believes that it is God that wanted her to come across my YouTube channel. So to you all, my goodies, lovers, <laughs> <laughs> the goodies were shared after they got married. Their first night together as a married couple in their honeymoon. And it went super good. <laughs> yeah. So guys, she gave you lots of advice, but I'm going to be putting it here so that you can read it for yourself because this video is long already. Let's save some time <laughs> and go to the most important part which is the name of the dating app where they met. They met on a dating app called F Dating. <laughs> oh my God, you've got lots of success stories from F Dating. So this success love story too is from F Dating. Guys, keep trying F Dating. Do not get tired. And if it's your first time today to hear F Dating, it's a 100% free dating app. You don't need to pay as a lady. And if you are a man, you are not supposed to pay. It's free, 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 zero payment. So guys, to their next plans. August has returned already to London. Right now, they are doing the documents for Abigail to join him in London. When Abigail goes to London, they've got other plans. Again, they want to do a church wedding in Malawi because they did a civil wedding in Malawi and do another symbolic wedding with his family in Poland. Guys, I can't end this video without thanking Abigail and August 
for allowing me to share their love story. I know it has been of a help. It has encouraged you to keep moving forward and have hope that one day it's gonna work for you too. Just like the way it worked for Abigail and August. So thank you so much guys once again and congratulations again on your marriage and all your future plans. May God bless you and let us all wish them lots of luck. So dear friends, I know the video has been so long. Thank you so much for watching till now. May God bless you. Please, if you have liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends, family, everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something. Please comment below what you think about this video. Watch my other videos too. They are super good. You will learn a lot, a lot of things. Please, if you have not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Join the family and thank you for subscribing. Until next time, guys, I love you so much. You're always here in my heart. Ciao, ciao. Mwah.